Fox Trot. Out from there now, 3000. 3000, copy Fox Trot, Soldier 01. Soldier 01, Fox Trot, The aggressor's mission always is to know, teach, and replicate, and you'll probably hear many of us repeat that mantra. We focus on adversary tactics all the time, so we are the uh, subject matter experts of how those aircraft operate, how they perform, and then we replicate them uh, better than most likely anybody would because of that experience. And you're doing your best to be as lethal and as representative of the threat as possible, and you know Blue is trying to battle any picture that we throw at them. That threat environment is extremely robust, and it's to the point where uh, there are places that you do not feel survivable in a fourth gen aircraft. It's just, it's just the bottom line. How will we take on what we're going to face in the future? The realities of really challenging uh, A to AD type environments where there are really complex surface to air missile systems and layered uh, defense systems that we have to try and unpick. So space helps us go over it, cyber helps us go under and through it and the fifth gen aspects with the fourth gen in support help us go into it uh, and do something about the, those challenges. It's like having a team of all-stars, but then you bring in one particular uh, player that has the ability to do two or three different positions simultaneously. We will be the ones that are kind of on that front line working our way through to try and attrit that mez down to something that's more manageable uh, for the rest of the force package to move forward later. So we'll do uh... Uh, close air support, and then we'll do a uh, defensive uh, counter air, and then uh, the last thing is we'll do a limited suppression of enemy air defenses in that. So it has a, a great sensor suite, it has uh, clearly the fifth gen low observability aspects, but we're using it in a subtly different way, so it's, uh, it's kind of being shielded to then go in deep into the most complex environments. Uh, as a lethal scalpel and get the job done. The uh, advanced avionics that we have, the stealth, uh, the stealth aspect of this airplane truly makes us more survivable. As a fourth gen fighter, we can use some of the things that they can do and change our tactics quite a bit. Obviously, they're more capable in a lot of ways, but they also end up making us more capable to attack certain targets and to get into certain places with what they can do. They can actually can uh, see the battlefield in, uh, in a way that I was never capable of in the F-15C that I was operating then. We were able to partner with our fourth generation aircraft uh, and basically we have a data link system called the Link 16 network. So the Link 16 is a data link that connects both the, the F-35 with the fourth generation aircraft. And then I'm able to kind of use my new modern sensors to find and locate targets, detect air threats, and then I'm able to kind of pass those uh, coordinates via Link 16 or I'm able to tell uh, the other aircraft about the air targets that are threatening them and then they're able to kind of engage those targets on their own. Being force multipliers to help us find uh, and defeat potential enemies out there um, even if even if we can't in whatever type of contested or degraded environment we might face them in. In a fight in 1997 everybody saw everybody else coming and it arrived at the merge and you got into um, initially beyond visual range but eventually within visual range combat. Now your adversaries know roughly where you are, but they don't know exactly where you are. And that applies to both the F-22 and the F-35. So now you're, our fighter pilots are being air battle managers as they drive to that merge, and they're usually approaching our adversaries undetected. And that's a capability that's not only against an air-to-air -air threat, but it's against a surface-to-air threat as well. That low observable technology that the F-22 and the F-35 possess is effective against surface-to-air missiles as well. It surpasses any capability that I had in the F-16. So you take the same pilot and that you had in an F-16, myself for example, you put me in an F-35, and I am able to do more in that airplane than I was able to do in the F-16. He was an aggressor pilot here at Red Flag, but he was his comment was, you guys are just destroying us wholesale. So they're eliminating us before we're able to get there and do our uh, type of tactics to destroy them. So now we're trying to deal with an unknown aircraft that we maybe can't see. At the same time, we're trying to target the strikers that may be fourth generation and we can see those. So now we're getting killed by a unknown aircraft while we're trying to employ against something we do see. Fifth gen 
makes 4th gen more survivable, and 4th gen makes 5th gen more lethal. The F-35 to work in concert with the F-22 complementarily, as well as with the 4th gen fighters to truly test all spectrums of, of the battlefield. I've been flying these jets for about 18 years, and to see our capability really to leap forward um, and to tie our capability into 5th gen, um, to see us tip the scales a little bit back in our favor, um, we're certainly encouraged by that and, uh, and know that 5th you know, gen is certainly the way of the future. We're finding better ways to employ our airplane, ways to be more lethal and more survivable every day. They obviously fly a very capable airframe, but when they sit down and they talk about their capabilities with everyone else, it's the learning that happens across all of the different platforms. And that's truly going to be the game changer for the next, uh, for the next conflict, is how integrated our airmen truly think to be able to win decisively in the air and space environment.